Hi, I am Amit Lunkar. Today we discuss about the clinical uses of local anesthetics. After completion of this presentation, learners will able to describe clinical uses or administration of local anesthetics. Let's begin with this clinical uses or administration of local anesthetics. The clinical uses of local anesthetics depends on how it is administered. So we discuss one by one. First one is topical or surface anesthesia. Second, infiltration anesthesia. Third one is field block anesthesia. Fourth one, regional nerve block anesthesia. Fifth one, intravenous regional anesthesia. Sixth one, spinal anesthesia. And last one is epidural anesthesia. So all these are the clinical uses which depends on the how it is administered. So let's we discuss one by one. So first one is topical or surface anesthesia. Direct application of a local anesthetic agent to the skin or mucous membrane blocks the sensory nerve endings. The local anesthetic may be applied in the form of liquid, spray, cream, ointment or gel. Anesthesia of the mucous membrane of the ear, nose and throat is usually brought about by use of the aqueous solution of the salts of tetracaine, lignocaine or cocaine. For prolonged duration of action, vasoconstrictor such as phenylephrine can be added in low concentration. Moving to the Next one, which is infiltration anesthesia. A set of dose of the local anesthetic in a suitable solvent system is directly injected into the area of the body that is to be anesthetized. These areas range from the skin to the deeper tissues. The most frequently used local anesthetic for inf infiltration anesthesia is lignocaine, or it is also called lidocaine, bupivacaine and procaine. The technique produced a good degree of anesthesia in a localized area without disrupting general bodily functions. However, the use of this technique may require a large concentration of anesthetic to bring about the desired degree of anesthesia with an attended increase in the risk of toxic systemic reactions. Next one is the field block anesthesia. A solution of the local anesthetic is injected subcutaneously at a point adjacent to the area that is to be anesthetized so that it blocks the nerve transmissions to that region. The advantage of Field block anesthesia is that less drug can be used to provide a greater area of anesthesia than when infiltration anesthesia is used. Examples of local anesthetics are lignocaine, uh, it is used 0.5 to 1% concentration, procaine and bupivacaine. Moving to the next clinical use. Regional Nerve Block Anesthesia Regional Nerve Block Anesthesia is usually brought about by either injection of the anesthetic in a suitable solvent system into the nerve or flux supplying region to the anesthetized. For example, spinal anesthesia may be brought about by injection into the cerebrospinal fluid in the subarachnoid space. Second example, dental anesthesia is brought about by fluiding the area around the nerve by injecting the anesthetic into the adjacent tissue. The local anesthetic agent used for a nerve block depends on which nerve is to be blocked, the length of time the anesthesia is required and the medical condition and physique of the patient. Duration of action is usually prolonged 
by the use of vasoconstrictors rather than by increasing the dose this approach reduces the chances of the drug spreading to region that do not require anesthesia next one is the intravenous regional anesthesia this technique relies on using the vasculature to bring the local anesthetic solution to the nerve trunk and endings it is used most often for the forearm and hand but can also be adapted for the foot and the distal legs lignocaine is frequently used to produce intravenous regional anesthesia but bupivacaine approved for this purpose because of its long duration of action next one is the spinal anesthesia spinal anesthesia is carried out by injecting the anesthetic agent into the subarachnoid space in the spinal cord the anesthetic acts mainly on the nerve fibers and blocks the pain region of the body served by the section of the spinal cord affected examples are lignocaine tetracaine and bupivacaine moving to the next clinical use epidural anesthesia the drug is injected into the epidural space between the vertebrae and spinal cord this numbs the nerve leading to the uterus and the pelvic area and leads to pain relief during labor epidural anesthesia may sometimes cause headache so here we discuss about the different clinical uses that is administration of local anesthetics hope all of you getting this thank you thank you very much and happy learning